Um, the reason why I'm winning most of my games is not because of my insane amount of micro skill, but it's about my game knowledge. It's about me knowing what to do at some certain points. Unlike this point. <laughs> I hope he's gonna lose everything now. Lose everything now, I'm so hate. I hate oh, take this on your face. Lose all your army like that. Holy moly. On your face, son. In a, in a, in a dream war. Please back, please back, please back, please back, please back, please back. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Sanas here. My name is Shanks. And today we're going to play a free for all match on the beautiful map Belfalas in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the page 2.22. Everybody is picking random. And of course, we will get to play the Isengard faction. Okay. A new power is rising. And victory is hopefully at hand. I mean, luckily, we have a lot of experience with the Isengard faction. I think we get around about 80% of the time we pick random the Isengard army. So I feel kind of confident about the situation. And sorry for my voice. I'm a little bit sick. And hopefully, it's not going to be too disturbing. I was drinking cold water in the last days. And, you know, and that's what I get from it. Okay, so let's wall check. It's an evil faction. And hopefully, it's not Mordor. I mean... Isengard is a pretty strong faction, but what makes Isengard very strong is actually the 1v1 potential. However, if it's going to be like a 2v1, 3v1 situation, it's going to be kind of tough. And what is also very important for the Isengard faction is the level up. So we basically need army, which is highly leveled. That's the only way we can make it all work. So keeping units alive and protected is going to be extremely important. Okay, it's Isengard around this area, who is crazy. And we will get actually a lot of settlements. So we have three settlements outside. That's pretty good. We will get now additional wood bonus. And we can fight those pleb peasants. They don't stand a chance. Remember, this is no mindless of mindless. This is no mindless. <laughs> this is no rubble of mindless orcs. Now, now I get it. These are Urukai. You know the rest. You know, re you know the rest, boys. Oh, he didn't capture this one yet. Okay, you know what? I can steal it from you. Hold on. I will get it from you now. Nice. So we have actually now the full wood bonus. It's pretty good. And what I will be doing at the beginning of the game, I will actually try to rush Lourdes. And then recruit some war riders later on. That's going to be the plan of this game. And hopefully we can make it work. Again, the only thing I'm scared about is going to be a 2v1 situation. Hopefully that's not going to be the case, you know. And um, when you play free for all match, boys, you need to make sure that you are kind of participating in every single fight. That's very important. Um, because there is like a race for the PowerPoint menu. So basically everybody who is actively fighting throughout the entire game will have a huge lead and advantage in the PowerPoint department. And you know how important and impactful those PowerPoints are in the mid to late game. They're actually essential to make it work, you know? I mean, this Meruira Brainy Book is actually annoying. Uh, you are not getting cloaked, my friend. No, 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 no. You have enough money for loot. And I want to also fill up the base with furnaces, but as long as I have the wood bonus. I mean, uh, the Mary killed a lot of our workers, but I think it's okay. Because we have still the mill. So we have four mills, which is the maximum amount. So we can build the furnaces now only for 245. We actually save more than 100 resources for each furnace we build. Mary has been taken down. And there is a hobbit next to the mill, and I will right click on my cripple, so in this way, Lourdes is gonna be able to kill the hobbit kinda, uh, even when he's invisible. Uh, there is a Mordor next to us, that's kinda scary. Die, hobbit, come on. Okay, I hope he was able to find the hobbit and not gonna cripple the... Okay, never mind. Big snipe, and hobbit has been shot in the face. Okay, let's build up the work pit and another furnace. Again, the plan is to get some war riders early on, but later on we will definitely need some uh, Uruk crossbowman combination, which is one of the best combinations in the game, because the Uruks in the front line are quite beefy and tanky. And that's the main reason why you combine them, because crossbowmen are kind of squishy units. And with the combination of the Uruks and crossbowmen, you have like a strong front line. Your opponent has to kill them first. So when it's going to be a fight between combo against combo, the enemy combo has to get through our front line first before they can actually reach out and kill the crossbowmen behind. So you cannot manually target the crossbowmen in the battalion. You can only right-click the full battalion, and when you position your, yourself in a good way, um, you can make sure 
that the uh, crossbowmen are not going to be touched until the Uruks are going to be fully killed. And it's also not a bad uh, start for us. I mean, the Moro player was able to capture this, but I think it's okay because we should be able to get the last hit. Important to leave the last hit to Lourdes, though, because we want, to, we want him to get level 5. That's very important. Nice. So, level 3 has now the carnage. Has now the potential to almost fight against every single hero in the game. Beside, of course, some exceptions like Aragorn and also Gimli level 5 or Gandalf. But you can even kill heroes which are way more expensive in compared to Lourdes. As for example, Legolas. You can kill him in a one-on-one -on -one situation when he's below level 7. Okay, I mean, if he's not pay paying attention, I can cripple one of his heroes, Theodine or Irma. Cripple! No, he's paying attention, unfortunately, but it's okay. Okay, I mean, the plan is to recruit uh, Saruman next. And I actually don't want to give too much time to my opponents. I want to siege them right off the bat. So what I can do, do now is I can actually capture this outpost. We can either build the Uruk pit here in the siege works in the castle. Or we build the siege works here in the Uruk pit in the castle. Hey, 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 Legolas. <laughs> Sit down, son. Throw your sword, the legendary fighting Urukai. Let's use the carnage and go inside the jeans. He's trying to fight back. He's gonna hook strike. He was even healing, but it's not gonna do anything besides delaying your death. You have no chance. And Lord is getting level 5. Gimli is not level 5, so we can easily disengage from the situation. No problemo. Be careful with the Warc Riders, because we will be demolishing the Warc Pit now. Capture the outpost, build the Uruk Pit there. And I actually wanna go for Armory first. So we can give those Warc Riders some heavy armor for splits, you know? Alright, so we have two of the two Eisenhardt heroes in the business. That's pretty good. As Saruman and Lourdes, Lourdes level 5, so we have actually the maximum amount of leadership we can unlock with this faction. And I want to get the Uruk... Um, actually, let's... Uh, I will also build up the Uruk pit here, actually. Because what we can do now is we can actually, you know, kind of... Uh, see it. Uh, recruit a crossbowman and put him inside the citadel, you know, for some protection. With two power points, I want to actually skip the industry and go for the Tainted Land. So I have like the power point. I will not be using it myself first, but I will. I want to have it ready when I have to use it as a way of covering the enemy land, you know? Okay, there is a Lord. Uh, there is another Legolas. We can also kill him. Hopefully, he's not paying attention. If Lord cripples him, it's like a long, long uh, crowd control duration. The Rohan heroes, they, they cannot deal too much damage to me. Cripple? Nice. So we can now go ham. Inside the jeans. Lourdes is kind of a little bit damaged. I'm worried that we might lose him. I don't know if he has heal or not. You will find out very soon. I was not paying attention to this area. Nice, we killed him. And now run. Run for your life. I want to kill Lourdes, uh, this guy dude too. Nice. <laughs> we killed him too. The Sarema Lourdes combination. Uh oh. Let's body block him with the crossbow man. Can he make it inside? Let's slow him down, slow him down, slow him down. Not even close, baby. Oh my goodness. In the meantime, I was losing my work radius, though. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> He's not happy. He's saying, oh man. I wouldn't be happy either about this, man. Lourdes the survivor. Officially confirmed. Okay. So, you know what? Again, I don't want to hesitate. I don't want to waste time. I actually want to um, go for the siege works very, very soon. Looks like Lourdes is not healing up inside the city so we, meet, we might need to get him out there you know okay so we have a crossbowman uruk combination we can demolish the armory now and go, go for the siege works the plan is to siege the rohan next to me so when i play this matchup or when i play free for all i want to actually go like uh, you know defeat the people around me first so the eisen uh, the rohan at the bottom the mordor at the top and then we can move our way up to the top left and bottom left because I've made the experience throughout, you know, like hundreds and thousands of games I've played that when you ignore the guy next to you and you make a move to somebody else, uh, the, the, the moment you move, <laughs> the person you ignore will actually attack you. Alright, so we have enough units. Lourdes is healing up over time. Saruman is in a good spot. Oh, don't, don't, Hawks, right? Don't! Oh, ec he could have killed him, dude. I mean, mistake from him, though. Mistake from him. 
because losing heroes is like a big punishment so the the revive time from you know when you lose a hero and you want to revive him it's actually pretty long you need to wait depending on the level of the hero you have lost up to almost three minutes which is a really long time you know okay so our army is looking pretty strong we have three combos or we will have three combos in total and we will just be sieging him now Okay, so we are waiting for the Ballista. The Witch King shouldn't be able to achieve too much. We have a full base with towers, so we should be in a good spot. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, again, the only thing I'm worried about is, you know, that happens to me every single time. I want to attack somebody, and then in the meantime, I will get attacked from somebody else. Then I need to make a choice. Do I continue? Do I commit to it? Or do I retreat to defend myself? But as you can see, you know, in a free-for-all situation, you have not a lot of command points. So with, like, three combos, we have already fulfilled our entire com command points. We are almost full at command points. So we cannot really recruit more units. And you cannot split them. Even if you split your units, you cannot split your heroes because you have only two heroes on the field. And uh, the army without hero leadership is going to be weak. Again, it's a leadership-based game, boys. So quality beats quantity in almost every single situation. And that's why Isengard is also good. Because we can deny the quality option from the opponent players by enabling the freezing rain and shutting down all their leadership bonuses. Okay, but you see, I will represent that's the what I mean. Now the other Rohan is coming from the other side and now we need to kind of rotate. We cannot just go ham and finish this guy off. There is a lot of units. I'm going to risk a fireball and retreat. Okay, beautiful fireball. We need to kind of make sure to get Saruman all the way to level 8. That's going to be very important. One part of the wall has been broken. Let's break the other part. There is a Mordor next to us too. I'm very afraid of a sandwich situation. It's like an awkward situation though, because there is like high ground as you can see. Lords! I'm gonna use Warchant. Lords, run, 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 run. Steal, 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 steal. Nice, we actually stole every single one of them, dude. That's amazing. Okay, hold on. We can keep breaking stuff. Lords, don't die. Lords, 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 Lords. Look, Theodine. Okay, Theodine actually couldn't make it. Where was Gondor when Theodine got killed? <laughs> All right. The plan is... Oh, my goodness. Guys, I have, like, two ideas. Watch this. What I'm going to do to the outpost to the Mordor as well. Watch this. What I'm going to do to the outpost of Mordor as well. Can we kill? Can we kill? Please, Legolas. Die, 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 die. Nice. We killed Legolas. Now we can also hopefully be able to kill Gimli. And then we will get the combos under our control. Oh, Gimli was able to survive. Take this... And in the meantime, we put the torches on the Berserker and we make it boom, boom, check a lacquer BB. And that's the multitasking, boys. That's the reason, one of the reasons, hopefully not the only reason, why you're subscribed to the channel. Or if you are not, then you should be. Because Shanks is capable of multitasking, crushing the Rohan army and destroying the Mortar outpost simultaneously. Who is this guy? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But, you know, it's because of the experience. I've been playing, you know, Isengard actually quite a lot. And if, you know, when it goes on like that, we are in a very good spot. Our units are going to be also stronger and stronger. They are getting more and more levels, which is very important. And now we can actually just go ham. Because we are only one power point away from the Freezing Rain, which is going to be a massive power spike. Remember, both the Rohans went for the infantry. And they, they went for the elves. And they are relying heavily on the leadership. So with the rain, we can shut it down. But again, he's coming from the other location. But this army is looking scary, my man. Oof, it's rough. Maybe I should have just let the outpost get destroyed. But... Oh, lords, 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 Run, run, run. Sarma, 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 Sarma. Look, they are flanking from the other side too. They are actually attacking, man. We're freezing rain. But there is a Gimli coming now. Oh, my. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, he just killed my lords too. Yeah, that's the problem, you know? That's the problem. Because the second we lose our heroes, we lose all the leadership. Our Warchan was not available during the fight either. So leadership, heroes gone, leadership gone. And again, big punishment because the heroes have a really long revive time. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Why is the Yellow Rohan not fighting against the top left player? Why is he not fighting against Mordor? But why is he trying to come to me? I mean, is this a coincidence? Or is this intended you guys let me know in the comment section down below help me shanks with, with what i have nothing i have nothing my man <laughs> but uh, you know the problem is they fed the bottom left rohan 
And uh, as you can see, Gimli with the Slayer is actually quite uh, troublemaking. So next time we need to kind of make sure to cripple him. Gimli got a lot of buffs in the version 2.22, which makes him a little bit more viable. But the true strength lies in the Slayer ability. So he gotta be level 5. You see there is a Mordor 2 trying to kill our War Riders. Um, we need the army. So with money is not a problem. I mean, it's kind, it kind of is. But we still have enough money to keep recruiting units and upgrading them. Again, Isengard is one of the factions who actually need, which actually needs a lot of cash in order to make it work. But we should be in a kind of good spot. Oh, um, maybe not. <laughs> there is a Ro Rohan, yellow Rohan, the other Rohan, purple Rohan. Everybody is coming. Green Rohan. Oh man, the look, this Gimli is putting so much pressure on us. Yikes, bro. Man, this is gonna be a GG already. I cannot fight against this. He has just too much. Also, leadership got back in the business. Look, my army is getting slaughtered. The outpost, I cannot hold it. Please don't explode him. Please. Oh, it's gonna be too late. Yeah. But luckily, he was not able to destroy my mineshaft. Hey, you know, getting sandwiched is one of my. Sandwich is my favorite meal. Sandwich is my favorite meal when I eat, when I eat it, not when I'm getting eaten. I mean, that's kind of tilting though, especially because I haven't played multiplayer now for a long time, and that happens to me in my first free for all game after a long time. I mean, long basically like means like a week or two. But you guys should have seen me back in the day, you know, when I was playing it every single day, every single day. The reason, I mean, um, the reason why I'm winning most of my games is not because of my insane amount of micro skill, but it's about my game knowledge. It's about me knowing what to do at some certain points. Unlike this point. <laughs> Dude, I have always to jinx myself. My Saruman, oh my goodness, this guy's paying attention to my explosive mines too, man. Stop it, man. Stop it. Uh. Oh man, I wanted to sneak in, but I believe uh, Matthias was watching a lot of my videos and he knows my Isengard gameplay. He also knows my explosive mind shenanigans. So he knows. I like sandwiches. I like it. A lot. <laughs> but what are the other two people doing? There are two more people involved. I don't even know what the Mordor. He has like two Nazgûls and the Witch King. I don't know what he's doing. Is he fighting against the top left guy and the other two are actually teaming up against me? I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm about to lose my mind. We have, you know, the freezing rain is on cooldown. I don't think we can turn it around anymore. He's about to destroy the Orphank, and that might be the end of the game. I'm gonna try to sneak in one explosive mine and try to take down the army with me. If I go down, it's gonna be a legendary moment. Everybody will remember. There comes the Cloud Break too. I mean, luckily he's taking all the towers from our units, uh, from our buildings. But he has also too much leadership. So he has Legoras leadership, which is a new leadership to the Alvin allies. He has Aragon and Theorin. And Gimli is also providing... Oh my goodness, Lords don't die. Okay, then surround Rosi. We can maybe get away. Look, he's actually feeding a lot of power points now to me. All the towers are shooting him down. I want to try to kill Theorin though. So manually target Theorin with all the stuff we have. And try to bring in the explosive mine. Oh, but it was not close enough. That's not close enough. I mean, the only good thing is... Please? Please die? No, he has Atalas. Are you kidding me, man? Okay. I mean, the only good thing is... We are not defeated, right? <laughs> and our Ruth was able to survive. You will remember this day. It's the day you, might, you have almost destroyed and defeated Shanks. I mean... Oh, man. <laughs> He's coming again. The problem is our money is also not looking good. I mean, now you can say, but we have 5,000. But again, we need to invest 2,000 of that for Saruman. And to get him back, we need Uruk Pit back. We need uh, Siege Works back. We need units. Each combo will cost us around about 2,000 resources to get it full upgraded. So the money is not looking good by all means. We have the chance to go for the industry or the devastation, but I don't want to do that. Actually, because that's going to slow our Balrog down a lot. And I want to get to the point in which I can finally summon my Balrog on the Elven army and crush everything into pieces. Because most people are um, thinking that EOD is 
I mean, of course, AOD is great for killing army, but so is Balrog, guys. Trust me on that one. And I might get the chance to demonstrate you guys the second legendary special power of the Balrog. So basically, Balrog is, of course, amazing when it comes to deal economical damage to destroy structures, nearly fully, completely destroying enemy castles. But that's not the only power of Balrog, the ancient demon. No, no, no. He has way more powers hidden in his secret fire. I mean, look our money though. We are kind of poor. So we need around 10 more power points. But remember what I was saying at the beginning of the game. So what is the power of Isengard? You want to have combos highly leveled. But we have lost all our army. So every unit of ours is going to be only level 10. While the enemy units are way higher leveled. So when it, when it comes about leadership... Yes, we have more leadership, because we can shut them down with our Freezing Rain. Without Freezing Rain, Rohan has actually more leadership than Isengard has. Our heroes, we cannot step up with them, because we have seen how quickly they can actually take down... Um, how quickly they can actually take down our Saruman. So we need to kind of put Lords and Saruman always behind the army. And remember, the enemy has also more firepower. So we have, I mean, of course, like four combos. But we have only 4 Battalion of Crossbowmen dealing const consistent damage. Our Uruks are again only a mid ball protecting the Crossbowmen. But the Elven units, they are not like that. So every single unit from him is able to shoot. And that's the firepower advantage. Okay, so... I don't know, man. I'm very scared to fight against this without my Saruman. But again, revive time is extremely long. At this point, I just want to get power points unlocked. A freezing rain, though. Let's use it. People, Aragorn, kill him. If you can kill Aragorn, it's going to be massive. Nice. Actually, you see, we get around, around about uh, one full power point from it. From killing the King Elisar. But he's kind of running for his life. I want to put, uh, put the Vision of Palantir to get a bit more speed. Maybe we can get the chance to catch this Theorin. Come on, combos, shoot! Shoot combos! There is another Elven unit coming from behind. And there is another Elven army. I want to fight now, because we have, um, and of course, we have shut down their leadership bonuses, which is massive. Maybe I can kind of go greedy with the Saruman. But I'm in a choke point against Gimli, and I have my cripple on cooldown. Where is Gimli? I don't even... Oh, Gimli is going! No! I give him the option, dude! No way! I mean, he actually killed so many units and damaged them all. And my heroes got literally... How? How are my heroes so weak? I mean, they have no leadership, dude. I mean, again, too much firepower. Including Legolas, who is also shooting, dealing crazy amount of damage. In high level units. You know, that's the problem. That's the thing you need to understand about this game. The level advantage is massive. So the amount of power you get for each extra level you gain on your units or heroes is actually more than you might think. So you get like... Crazy, ridiculous amount, you know what I mean? You, you like all of a sudden you deal like 20% more damage and 20% more armor just because you have you are not level one but you're level two. And for that reason, it's very important to keep your units alive. But I think what we will be trying to do in the future in the following uh, updates of the patch 2.2 is to nerf the damage and armor growth, you know, for each level on the units because it's kind of crazy, you know, it's kind of crazy. I mean. Not too much though, because I think a player who is able to consistently keep up the units alive throughout the entire game should be getting rewarded, of course. But, you know, it's kind of crazy because one level 5 combo can literally kill two level 2 combos. <laughs> this, this is kind of crazy, you know? Okay. So again, it's about sitting, t sitting in the base, waiting literally for Lourdes. We can use Palantir. I want to watch and observe what the others are doing because I cannot really party speed. Looks like the green uh, or yellow-green Rohan is about to come to me, ignoring the blue Rohan next to him. I'm pretty certain he's quite fat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what should I be thinking about that situation, guys? I mean, there is um, a Rohan next to him with a huge army inside the castle. I can even see it in the minimap. But instead of using the EOD on the player next to him, killing his army, destroying the gate, this lovely, friendly 
and I love him so much. Green, yellow, Rohan is saying to himself, nah, nah, I will go for Shanks instead. I hope he's gonna lose everything now. Lose everything now, I'm so hate, I hate, oh, I'm so, I'm so angry, man. Why, man, why, what did I do to you, dude? I don't get it. Leave me alone. Now we need, <laughs> we are kind of doomed. We have no money. We can not even revive our Saruman at this point anymore. We need army. We are kind of at 89 out of 300 available command points. But I cannot even upgrade my units. Because I want to get my heroes on the field first. And again, revive time is long. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm still alive though. <laughs> I take this one. Um, but... I would love to know what the Mordor is doing at the top side and who is he fighting against because I believe there is one more player but I've never ever gotten the chance to see the player. I don't know where he is, I don't know what he's doing. But it looks it looks like it's gonna be a 1v1 situation between Mordor and the other player at the top left side. But the other, we, we three we are actually having Fiesta against each other, M you know, mostly against me. And, you know, what, what makes me happy, though, is that those players are improving quite fast. Um, <laughs> you know, a couple of months ago, I was able to win against them in a 1v2, 1v3, 1v4 situation. I mean, maybe I can still do that if I get, like, a more carry faction, like Rohan, for example. Rohan is definitely crazy strong in a free-for-all match, especially on a map like this with the infantry. You have new leadership from Legolas. Gimli is kind of crazy. You have the hit-and-run potential. You can place Aragorn next to your unit to level up. Aragorn, very tanky hero. And even with the cavalry, you can go for, you know, crazy leadership bonuses with Elma and Theory, and you can go for Glorious Charge, trample down enemy units. So you have a lot of potential. But the problem is, Isengard is also very strong, don't get me wrong. But the problem with Isengard is you need to keep your units alive, which I couldn't. I couldn't because I got sandwiched multiple times. And now all my units are only level 2, but they could be all level 10 by now. And it would be a full different story, trust me that one. Oh, revive time is so long. I need to be waiting, waiting, waiting. In the meantime, I'm observing. We need to be fast though. Because the problem is that the Rohan player, uh, the green, yellow Rohan player, has EOD. The Offbreaker. So, um, we, uh, in, a, in a dream world, we want to make something happen before they can get it back. It has like 7 minutes cooldown. So we need to make it, we need to make something happen now. We will find out, we will find out. Come on now, Lourdes. <laughs> what is the revive time, dude? That's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, we have four combos. Uh, we are command points kept, pretty much. Our money is looking bad. And I don't even know what would change if we take a fight. Maybe at this point I need to, I should be kind of willingly, intentionally losing my Saruman. If you don't know, if you lose Saruman, uh, you get actually a lot of power points. It's like evil factions generally get, you know, can generate power points from losing stuff. Oh, that's arm, this army is looking pretty, pretty strong to me. I want to cripple this Lego Legolas, maybe I can finish him off. Cripple him. Can I kill him? It's like a high ground and my units have to come really really close to actually finish him off there is just too much leadership too much fiesta and he has like double heal kill him nice we killed him at this point it's all about getting power points you know Gimli is coming can I steal him before Gimli can do no way dude how is this possible man he just knocked me before there was the perfect warm tongue ability by the way I would have been able to steal 80 per I'm just tilted I'm just tilted I just want to lose him. I want to get the power points from losing him. I got a beautiful fireball off, but I'm just I'm, like that would be the greatest turnaround of on, turnaround of all time. But Gimli, the small little stinking dwarf, was able to knock down a Maya like Saruman on the ground. Are you ki ki kidding me, man? Oh man, I play so bad this game though. I cannot blame blame it on anybody else, you know. My heroes, I kind of inted with them literally over and over again. And that's, it slows me down so much, you know what I mean? That slow, you know, I just wasted my freezing rain too, which is like, what, six minutes cooldown. And without, uh, now we've reached a point of the game, I cannot fight against either Rohan player without my freezing rain. So I need my heroes, I need combos, a lot of them with Warchant, Lord's leadership, Saruman leadership, and I also need freezing rain 
because they have such a huge level advantage on me. And without uh, Freezing Rain, I cannot fight against that. I just want to see what's going on. It's a huge Alvin Force. And we have one combo. <laughs> I mean, he has everything. Theodin. Uh, he has even Aragorn and Gimli too. Oh, man. I want to fight around this area because my towers are shooting. He is still... I want. Uh, can I cripple him? Why didn't he cripple him? Kill Theodin, man. How did we not... I swear to you, I clicked. It feels like the game intentionally wants me to lose this game. It would be the biggest punishment ever. Okay, we have 20 power points. You know what time it is. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Say hello to my little friend, you 2 b oneers Take this on your face. Lose all your army like that. Ugh, take this, man. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Step on them, Balrog. My dog step on a pee. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, the ends are coming, but I think they shouldn't be able to achieve too much. We can turn and breath fight them, no problem. Hopefully we will be able to kill them. I mean, I would, I would rather kill Gimli instead of Aragorn, though, I gotta be honest. Aragorn is just too tanky, look, we are, I mean, we didn't breath fire. Without breath fire, our Balrog is not dealing too much damage. I want to kill this Gimli, that's all I want to do. And then what I want to do afterwards is I want to destroy the Citadel, so he cannot revive him back anytime soon. They're gonna suspect in the business. But that's a good, good, good punishment. So we wiped out his army, army. And, you know, that's what I was trying to explain you guys. Balrog is capable to do that. I'm just going to click on you and then go to my army. And I want to kind of go here again. I want to punish him without him getting the chance to get his Gimli back. Because the, realistically speaking, the one hero which caused actually tons of problems to us in this game are the two Gimlis from the two Rohan we are fighting against. And the, the reason for that is also because I'm very lazy. I have seen it coming multiple times. I thought, it's okay, I can survive that. I can tank it. But I couldn't tank it. And it's not only about the damage it deals, you know. It might not one-shot your army. But what it does is actually disables your army. It knocks down every single unit, including your heroes on the ground. Which actually, you know, is like 5 seconds crowd control. 5 seconds of, not, of you not being able to attack them back. Sorry, I sound like a douchebag. I'm crying all the time. It's because, but, but I'm only actually mad at myself. You know, I played this game really, really bad. And I would not deserve the victory if I get the chance to win this. <laughs> the Balrog is like a really long cooldown. I'm gonna use War Chant. Fireball them. Take this. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Almost level 8. We killed all his units. Let's level them up. My Lord is kind of taking lots of damage. We crippled him. Lords, go back, please. Please, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I mean, this Aragon is too tanky. That's the problem. They are shooting. Somebody is shooting my Sarma non-stop. And Aragon is inside the jeans, you know, inside literally the one-man army. And we nerfed him, by the way. That's the nerfed Aragorn. We nerfed his underdeal tankiness. But he's still, look, which other hero is capable to do that? We need to retreat now. None can contest with the will of Saruman. Our heroes are very low. And we are just feeding him a lot of power points. Hopefully this player is not going to be close to the EOD. Because the player who was using EOD previously was actually the other Rohan player. And EOD is so good against Isengard combos, you know. Because you cannot disengage from that. Okay, I think we just need to spam Ballista, Ballista, Ballista. Bring more and more units. As long as, as our heroes are alive, we should be in a good spot, you know. I don't mind about losing units because we can get them on the field pretty quickly okay i want to just break the gate break the gate destroy the dam i mean sorry for my performance in this game boys uh, it's my second game actually of the day but the first game was very very short it was like a 3v3 matchup which was done in like 11 minutes we have won by the way um, but free for alls are much more intense, you know, because they are so unique. They are not a 1v1 matchup, because then you have only one opponent, you know what's up, you know what the map is all about, you need to, you, you know, the, the objective of yours is kind of crystal clear. What is, what, what is you doing? Take this. Run, Saruman, run, beautiful, beautiful, he is gonna heal him. 
If we need to kind of cripple Aragorn and then let him be though, because I don't think we can kill him. Okay. I mean, he's somebody's chunking our heroes. Like Legolas is chunking our heroes. Don't, 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 don't. I can cover this. Okay, I don't think we can kill Aragorn now. I mean, the crippled region is gonna be gone very soon. And he's just a tanky boy. We were able to knock him down on the ground. One more knock up. Ah, uh, nah. Okay, unfortunately, we have, lost, we have lost Lord, so we need to revive him. Again, which is gonna cost us a lot of time, but it's okay. I don't wanna complain anymore about my own mistakes. What are you doing, Ballista, man? Stop it. They are trying to. Go for Aragorn, which is a mistake. Okay, so I want to actually send some <laughs> explosive mines. Attack Mordor instead. Why would I do that? Did you attack Mordor instead of me all game long? Did you attack Mordor instead of me all game long? Or did you exclusively fight against me all game long with your other ally? I'm, I'm going to call him ally because you played with him and not against him. You cannot tell me that you played against him, man. <laughs> All right, so we have industry. We have actually no money problems. We have 14,000, but our army is kind of weak because we have no high levels on them. Without Lourdes, it's very hard for me to kill those heroes quickly because the only damage leadership you can get is Isengard faction. Besides having Warchan, of course, is actually Lourdes. Lourdes gives you 60. So with Warchan, Lourdes combination, you have 110% more damage, but that's not even enough because you need levels, levels. But it's like he's luckily feed us some levels with the end. I don't know what the end summon is all about. He's gonna literally int now power points to uh, you know experience points to our units. If you don't know, Saruman is providing combat experience. So with Saruman being around, the units are gonna be able to level up a bit faster, quicker, quicklier, because it's fifty percent more. Um... Yep, 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 yep. You love to see it. You love to see it. Take this, <laughs> Saruman, the EOD Slayer. But then he got slain by Aragorn. Okay, I mean, we will lose this outpost for sure. There is no chance we can save this. And that's the problem now. Houston, we have a problem. And the problem we got, boys, is that we have not only one, but two opponents with the EOD special ability cheat enabled. Yup, 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 yup. And that's really bad, though. I mean, that's, that's horrible, actually. Oh man. But never give up, never surrender. Luckily we have almost our Baldrog pack. But you know, we found I found myself in a very awkward situation. Because if you don't know the Baldrog isn't able to finish off um the Baldrog isn't able actually the one who was seeing attack Mordor was not the guy I was fighting against. Sorry man, I was flaming him for no reason. <laughs> Um, we have found ourselves in a very awkward situation. What is happening? Because I have to kind of use Balrog to kill the army. That's the problem I got. Um, remember in the patch 2.2 we nerfed the Balrog, and I'm very happy about that because if you, do, if you don't know, in the patch 1.06 the Balrog was able to fully finish solo the Gondor and Grohan camp, camp a castle easily, easily. You would have even have some time left. You can still do that if you are extremely lucky. But you cannot one-shot production buildings level 3 anymore. So you need to pre-fire them and attack them manually one by one. And which just makes it almost impossible to destroy the to destroy the full castle with the Balrog. Which I'm happy about because I found the idea ridiculous that a player who's actually winning the game is only losing the game because the Balrog is able to finish off the full castle. You know, that kind of sounds bad. Uh oh. I have no pike man. I have no Saruman. What is happening, man? Well, that's really bad because I have no Pikeman around. I have no Saruman. I have only uh, Warchant. Uh, armor buff, 50%. And I don't think it's going to be enough. He's going to even use Cloud Break for armor reduction. And look, my command points dropping down. Oh, boy. Trampling with the fully upgraded Rohirrim with Theodine and Eoma being around them. Max leadership. My army got slaughtered. Even Aragorn giving leadership to Rohirrim. And I just lost the full potential with my war chant. Just kill him, please. My carnage didn't work either. Dude, in this game, everything is against me. 
Like, I'm telling you, even the game itself is against me. I don't know why my carnage wasn't working at the end of the day. I have no clue. But I'm losing this game, actually, man. Look, I have 8 out of 400 available command points. One of the players has been defeated. I have not even seen him one single time. The player at the top left side, I don't know what he has been doing all game long. Okay, I mean, this Rohan is also very strong, man. Look, this army. Oh, holy moly. On your face, son. Take this. That's for the early game bullying and your AOD, random AOD special summon on me. That's what you get from it, son. That's what you get. And he's attacking me. I'm gonna use Freezing Rain. I'm gonna just focus down the buildings a little bit. And I will show you what I mean. So basically, when you breath fire now, the level 3 production building, Archer Rain Stable, or whatever production building it is, you cannot one-shot it anymore with the breath fire. You could before in the patch 1.06, we intentionally you know nerf the damage. So Balrog cannot single-handedly win the game. Because imagine if you could, then you have you have the chance, you have time enough for two breath fires when you summon the Balrog. So, and you have, uh, you know, enough time for a couple of auto attacks. You can easily, and I'm telling you, easily, even if you play this game for like one week, destroy a full Rohan castle in the patch 1.06, which was kind of OP, 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 you know? And I'm happy that we nerfed it. Okay, he's forced to disengage, it's good. Uh, freezing Rain, shutting down the leadership bonuses. We are kind of still alive, but we lost the outpost to Mordor too. We are in a... We are alive, but barely, you know? We are like in the coma and we are about to die unless some shenanigans are gonna happen and they are not gonna happen unless we make them happen i'm very scared you know i'm assuming that even if we destroy the rohan next to us and we should be able to when our lords is back in the business because he has ild on cooldown we know that and he has not many units on the field he went for the cavalry transition actually so we can counter that with the pikeman so i have like two pikemen now i can just you know use the pikeman to protect my combos in the porcupine formation we can even one shot to you know hit him but even if i destroy him i believe the mordor at the top and the other rohan at the bottom left are gonna be just too strong especially the rohan at the bottom left side he has actually very highly leveled units every one of them is gonna be level 7 8 9 10 including his heroes and you cannot even imagine how much damage in dps legolas is teaching out when he's level 10 you know it's a huge power spike Saruman would literally get blown up, lit up in like 10 seconds. Group, group, group. And go, go, go. I mean, there comes the other Rohan. But how does he have such a big army now? Did I not just kill all the army with the Balrog summon? I mean, okay, he made a new army because they are all level 2 as you can see. No, 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 Saruman. No, 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 no. Look, he instantly targets my Saruman. He wanted to target my Saruman as, as you can see. I'm gonna use War Chant. Bohem. I'm gonna use fireball anyway. I just wanna fireball them. Hopefully I won't die. I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. What is this damage, man, from Legolas? Holy quackamole. My rain is on cooldown. I'm, I'm trying to beat him with Saruman. I'm trying to beat him with Saruman. I'm trying to make him attack me. Lords, I'm not trying to beat the Lords. What is happening, man? He's so strong. You see, the, like, the problem is he can kill my heroes way quicker and way faster than I can kill his heroes. But Mordor is coming from the other side. I crippled Kimli, but I don't think anyone has the damage to kill him while the cripple is still active. They're shooting at his face with the Ballista. He's just laughing and saying, it still only counts as one. <laughs> and he's gonna speedy Gonzalez out. I mean, holy moly. Holy moly. I hope you guys enjoyed this game because I'm suffering. And if you want to do me a favor... Leave a like on this video, you know, it costs, it costs you nothing but 2 seconds of your time, it helps quite a lot for the YouTube algorithm, and if you are down there already, boys, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. It's for free. And if you want to go even farther, <laughs> you can turn on the notifications so you don't miss any uploads in the following days, weeks, months, years, because I'm not pl planning to stop with this anytime soon. Fight for me, my servants. Okay. Darkness. Um, I can tell you, I have a feeling that this model is also going to turn on me. I can tell you that I have a feeling that it's going to be a 3v1 situation very, very soon. <laughs> I'm, I can see it coming, kind of. I'm telling you. Hmm. 
yeah, I mean, the reason why I'm in a bad pro spot like this is because my initial plan didn't work out. I wanted to defeat the Rohan next to me, and I would be able to do that too, but then the other Rohan came and interrupted me. And the problem is, by the time the other Rohan came and we fight against each other, he had Legolas highly leveled, Gimli highly leveled. So I believe he was fighting for the first couple of minutes into the game with the top left guy was getting his heroes and his units leveled up like crazy and when we clashed it was a very unfair cla clash for me because he had way more highly leveled units than me he had all the heroes leveled up Gimli, Leap and Slayer Legolas with Arrow Warleon and stuff like this you know it was kind of crazy now the problem is we know that this Rohan is EOD and hopefully the EOD is not available yet I didn't actually focus on the timer I mean, not on the timer, but like your in, in our inner mind timer, because I was busy complaining. In, in the meantime, I want to actually build like a strong defense with the Ballista. I am hoping that he has no EOD, boys. If he has EOD, I'm screwed. Literally. If he has no EOD, we can win it. Okay, I mean... Hey, Lord, what are you doing? At least we were able to... <laughs> At least we are able to kill his theory. <laughs> Saruman, don't I? And summon to... How are they able to get save all these powerful summons? For me. Why you laugh me so much, guys? Don't laugh me that much. Come on now. They need to break up. I'm far more open in a in an open relationship. Without serious fighting. He just... He, oh man, he killed my Siege Forest too. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Will this... Will it ever end? Yeah, I will I will finish you soon. Trust me. I will finish you soon. You tilted me with the EOD summon. Now I know you have no EOD. And guess what? My Balrog is almost back up. So you know what time it is. I will I will make it make you pay for it. And even if it's gonna be the last thing I will do in this game. Rohan. Best free for all ever. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't agree with that one. You know, it's not the best free for all ever. It's actually the worst free for all ever in my entire life, because I feel so useless and weak. So useless and weak. I mean, he killed my Saruman, but my Lord was able to survive. That's good. I want to see what's going on. But I need to be a little bit more patient because I want to use Palantir when my, when my Balrog is available, or when it's almost available. Okay, it's almost available. Uh, I cannot wait for Saruman once again. It's just gonna be too long time, you know? There is a Mordor Mumu kill pen. You'll have to see it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should... I will... Oh, no! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! He dodged it actually pretty nicely, man. I will try to catch it. <laughs> I will try to catch the army. We killed nothing. He's actually smart. He's actually smart. Let's see if I can outsmart him. Is he smarter than me? Hold on. Is he gonna... He's not smarter than me. <laughs> Take this, son. He's not smarter than me. But he's smart. He's actually very smart. Phew! Legolas, you annoying little elven prince, get to the graveyard. And pew! Okay, so we cannot actually play this cat and mouse game anymore because we have not much time with Balrog. I want to just kill the fortress or the citadel from him, from him. So I know that he cannot revive anytime, any soon, anytime soon, heroes. So breath fire. And then we should be in a good spot. And we have also now the pikeman, which is very important. We know his EOD is on cooldown, right? We know his, his EOD is on cooldown. And that's the time for us to shine. Okay, so let's use Warchant. We cannot wait for Saruman, of course. I'm gonna make some explosive mines now. And put them actually in random places. Cripple him, cripple him, cripple him, cripple him. Wha what? Is he level 10 too? There's no way, dude. I mean, kill him at least. Okay, we killed him at least, but... Oh my goodness, man. That's still thing. What? And there is Mordo coming too? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, there is EOD chasing me. <laughs> Too many EODs. 
you know, level 10 heroes like Aragorn and Gandalf are crazy, crazy. Wait, talking about craziness, Saruman, what are you doing? Okay, we have heal, we have heal, we should be good. Okay, nice. No one can contest with the Villa of Saruman. There is a Mumu kill too, by the way, in, on the hand. And why is nobody fighting against each other? But okay, okay, shut up, James. Shut up. That's not gonna. It's gonna. That's not gonna change anything. You complaining is not gonna make it better. Just play the game, focus, and shut up. <laughs> but this is ridiculous, dude. He's summoning the ends. The other guy is sieging with 55,831 catapults, Mumma kills. There is a Rohirrim archer army. Aragorn just used the EOD on me. What is this, man? Am I in an infinite loop of defend your castle map? What am I in? I will blow you up, ends. I will blow you up, ends. He just destroyed my siege works too. That means no more. Hold on. Hold on. I will send those ends into the abyss. Take this. Nice. One shot at all four ends. The Mumma kill randomly joins the fight. Thinks about, hey, why, why should I not just, you know, get inside the castle of Isengard? Hey, that sounds like a great idea. And we are still alive, though. <laughs> we are still alive. I don't know how, but we are still alive. My Badrock is on cooldown. I know the Rohan at the bottom right is going to have his EOD back very soon. And again, I told you guys, I will destroy him. Even if it's going to be the last thing that I will be doing in this game. I will destroy him. And all I'm waiting is for one more unit. And then I will go ham. Three combos and I just go. Go, go. Because we cannot be wasting time at this point anymore. He's going to have AOD in a bit again. You know, in like a minute or something. We have like actually a very limited time to make something happen. I'm just going now. Go, go, go. I know there is a Mordor sieging me, but I don't care, you know, I just don't care. I want to finish off this Rohan because he has been tilting me all game long. And if... Let's get Saruman next to this combo so the fear resistance kicks in. Okay, nice. And if, you know, even if we lose this game afterwards, uh, destroying and defeating this Rohan next to me is going to make me feel like the victorious queen, you know? Oh, now you are now you are fighting against each other. Now you randomly fight against each other. I will fight against both of you. Saruman, activate the Super Saiyan mod. Pew, fireball on your face. But run now, you're for your life. I want to I want to crush his army. I want to cripple this Gimli. Where is Gimli at? Okay, I found Gimli. I want to cripple him. I want to kill him so badly. The Gimli is the un most annoying thing. Cripple him. Lego. Nice, Lord. Finish him off. Finish him off. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill the dwarf. Come on. Why is it? Thank you, man. <laughs> Can I kill him, actually? Dude, he's like, what? What? I mean, my units are not highly leveled, but still, with like 110% damage, Gimli is such a tank. Yeah, true. True. I'm going to just focus on the buildings, actually. Make sure he's not going to kill my Saruman. Okay, I feel good now about myself. I feel good now about myself. I was actually feeling horrible about myself in this game. But now I feel good about myself. Nice. Ooh. One second. You saw, you saw, I have like a good uh, you know, feeling about the timing. Because he just typed one second off of the EOT. So, if he would be wasting a little bit more time, he would have been getting destroyed once again to the EOT. Okay, let's get those two farms behind. We are command points kept, so building lumber mills is going to be useless. Um, if you don't know, if you have like no command points and you build lumber mills, they, you're not gonna spawn any <laughs> lumber mill workers. So the slaughterhouse makes way more sense. I mean, we have money, but we cannot really invest it into anything else because we are kind of capped at this point. Um, again, the power of the army isn't that great because they are not highly leveled. And I would eventually like to wait for the <laughs> for the next Badrock summon. Oh my goodness, man. Can I fireball? 
there are too many Mumu kills. I mean, two Mumu kills, but they are quite kind of scary. I will make them kill each other. Nice. Turn and kill the, kill the drama troll. And run now. Run, 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 run. We need to kind of keep the distance so they cannot charge at us. And in a, in a dream world. Please back, please back, please back, please back, please back, please. You know, come on. Just finish me already, dude. Just finish me already. Yeah, yeah, I trample everything. Finish me already, man. Just finish me already. I'm gonna just call it very, very soon GG anyway. Yeah, why don't you make 25,000 catapults? Hey, man, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever, dude. You cannot win every single game, boys. It is what it is. I played also very, very bad. Um, unfortunately, I made a lot of major rookie mistakes which I should have avoided to make, and then I could eventually be able to turn this, but it's, you know, it was of course very, very hard. The Elven Archer spam with the Rohan heroes like Gimli Aragorn, Gimli Aragorn, uh, Legolas, and Theoden is actually pretty strong. And also, both the players were always making sure to kill my heroes first. Very, very smart move. I mean, I gotta give credit to them too. They played actually very well. While I was playing bad, so it's like a the worst case scenario. Your opponent is playing well, you play horrible. I have the Balrog. I want to just summon one more time Balrog to make something happen. I mean, I, I don't see a way of me turning this game around, by the way, guys. I don't see a way of me turning this game around anytime soon. Too many catapults. I'm thinking about maybe I should have gone for the Vork Riders, you know? Like make one or two combos and then go for the Vorks. Uh, give them War Chant, use whole ability with the Freezing Rain and just melee fight those Elven Warriors. I think that would be the best thing ever. Um, unfortunately, uh, Isengard Faction is not a sportive hero for the for the, for the Vork Riders. So, when you have a, like, like a self-sport with the whole ability, which has like a long cooldown, it's like an active ability which you need to use. It's not like a hero who can permanently give you leadership, you know? Okay, I wanna use... There you go. Take this, man. Boom, son! The demon of the ancient world on your face. I mean, to be honest, if I would have to make a choice who's gonna win, I wish Mordor wins that and not Rohan. Not Rohan. But for that, what he did to me at the beginning of the game, which kind of snowballed into this awkward situation in which I cannot do anything. I'm, I feel like, I, like completely useless. But my Balrog isn't useless. He's gonna breath on them, the fire on the ancient world. Just capture this one. But I will ignore that. I want. I want to actually go for his main base and destroy the citadel so he cannot um, see it. Uh, reveal or revive his heroes like Aragorn and Legolas, you know? Okay, my Saruman is back. We have actually a decent amount of army, so maybe we can try to make a move against this Rohan. Gimli, run. Okay, just kill the Citadel and go for the Breath Fire. If you can, Gimli. Uh, I mean, not Gimli. <laughs> Valrog. Alright, my army is rotating. We have now three full upgraded combos. My Lord and Saruman are alive. I'm gonna keep those three actually in the base for the worst case scenario. And now, with these three combos, Lourdes and Saruman, hopefully we can destroy the outpost. Remember, we destroyed the Citadel of the main castle. So there is a chance he might be trying to revive his heroes at the outpost. When we destroy the outpost, his heroes are going to be super delete. Again, long revive time for the heroes. So we can make it work. We have also Freezing Rain, so everything is in our favor. We should be able to dominate this fight, no problem. Just going to use War Chant and finish off the outpost. Oh man, again. Why, you, why they are holding this when I want to make a move? Why this guy is not using it against Mordor, who has like 5,000 catapults? I don't understand that. My Lord just got one-shotted, by the way. Okay, it's okay though. We have, I mean, again, we were able to save a couple of combos, of course, and our, luckily our Saruman was able to survive that too. So now we have like three more combos, and again, the plan is simple. We want to actually finish off this Rohan outpost. Because I, I don't want him to get the heroes on the field anytime soon. As long as I can deny him the heroes like Aragorn, Legolas, and Theorin, um, I can summon two. I can kill the ants, no problem. Should be able to kill the ants with my Saruman and my combos. 
but Mordor is coming and the drummer troll is so looking like he's sporting the ends and cheering for them Mordor is coming too we took only three of them unfortunately turn on this end kill this one Nazgul is down it's used the will of Saruman kill the second Nazgul too nice oh my goodness are you kidding me man are you kidding me how is this fair and let me i mean allow me to complain because i will complain now if hey that's annoying what the heck man 30 seconds ago the other guy is just using eod on me and 20 seconds later the balrog from the mortal player is being summoned on my face too on my face too I cannot, I'm not, uh, I'm not like a superman, man, I cannot fight against Balrog there, AOD here, Aragorn summoning AOD here, big AOD here. I think I've been facing against AOD, it feels like since the beginning of the game, I'm telling you guys. It's pointless. I cannot turn this game around anymore, my lord is gonna be impossible to be revived. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean... Hopefully it was at least enjoyable for you guys because it was a sour game for me to play. Look this Balrog, you know. Catapults coming from the top, from the north. Elven army coming from the down, from the bottom side. I just want to go for one fireball before I will call it. Take this fireball on your face. Kill me all you want. I just wanted to get the fireball. The movement kill is charging. I mean, I want to. I want you to understand. It's not like they are not teamed up. They are opponents. Even though it sounds, maybe it seems to be a different thing. But everybody in this game was playing against everybody. Everybody was his own team. GG well, please. I will cancel everything. And I'm gonna call it. I mean, it was a fun game to be, it, you know, still. I'm happy that I lost this game kinda because I'm happy that the people are improving and the next following games with them is gonna, are gonna be way more entertaining. And I will have to focus a little bit more. Did you well played? I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Until next time, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards, boys. Peace out.